Vignal is at all, Franco Morbidelli got away really well, Fabio Quattararo gets swallowed, and through comes... Did Fabio Quattararo, disastrous start from the front row for the French Atty, Jack Monatelli might try and... Tight line up the inside though, it's going to be close this one, and he closes the door, does Franco Morbidelli on the... Miller, he's going for it now, they know the lead is home Grand Prix, through cut chief... Teeth chattering. Chief tattering. <laughs> <laughs> I think we both need our teeth put in. Jack Miller. Then it's Maverick Vinales. Deli and Rossi both made because it's such a short start finish straight. There is Joan Zarco. He's intense. Just here. He's really keen to get through on Franco Morbidelli. Drive Rossi gets out of turn six. Through we go then into Nialis, but also trying to keep Alex Rins at bay. Yeah, the two Suzukis are starting to look seriously terrible. Start for me. Fired up the inside of Quattararo into turn 14. No behind Maverick at the moment. Vignal is still waiting probably for that hard rear tyre to properly come in on the front row. So, well, now Rossi gets that great drive from turn 6. Can he challenge once more? That was a great shot. Grip coming out of turn 6. What a great shot that was. You could see that the cat is sitting there. They can just see more with Ellie and Rossi eking away at the feeping the boss of bay on board with the doctor there as we come across the line he won't have Vinales gets great grip out of turn 16 Miller's the fastest man on circuit right now at 30 the pretty test rider unfortunately he's taken a tumble at turn 14 yeah this is good from Jared Dararo in the background there sorry Steve I'm not I think Rins might have been actually looking at a move here but not quite able to make the passes stick he was the fastest man on that last lap Alex Rins Did he yeah because of the academy start of this one there is Alex Rins then fastest man on circuit trying to this weekend particularly Davide Bruvio say how difficult it is to overtake around this time of day it's one of the rides of the day you expected to see the Yamaha the speed Miller's doing a grand job in the early stages absolutely awesome that's why Ducati have picked him to be in the themselves <laughs> although arguably Polis Barga are mistakes here we are on board with Franco Morbidelli he's got a I'm tipping my cap to Peko Bagnaia because no change. Rossi's trying to apply pressure to Franco Morbidelli, but and Miller is there, ready to pick up the pieces as well. If should it all go wrong, still nothing really. Yeah. Side line. For, what can he now do about that gap to Jack Miller, which has gone up to half a second? Yeah. Of course, Maverick Vinales really needs to finish ahead of Fabio Quattararo to re his big well to the gap. Can you believe this? Andre Dimit shows we just said it. The guy's not even in the top six. Either. Well, astonishing. Well, and Rossi. Look at Rossi, he's only 10 points down. It, 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 Maverick Vinales as well. He's shaking his head, Maverick. This is going from bad to worse for the number 12. He's at a, a 32 706 for the injured Italian. Bagnale's in a different race to the guys ahead of him. What about Vinales? Vinales a 33-8. Bagnale was 1.16. Oh, he's wide, but a little bit wide there. Well, but you're looking here at Peko Bagnale, the fastest man. On. He's a bit shaken here in this race. You do want... His pace dropped by a full, almost close to tagging Vignales there, wasn't he, in the first corner. You cannot take your eyes in a strong third place still. Top six since those two maximum 50. Astonishing. What I can tell you is we are going to have another in MotoGP for 2020. Whatever happens here, this has been incredible. Alex Rins has got in 32 ace 5 one. Yeah, Alex Rins was a mark. Can anybody do a bin? Jack Miller then, at the moment, holding on to third place. He just put in his fastest lead on another 132.8. That's back-to-back 132.8s from the Suzuki. Almost as close as brothers, aren't they, this pair? And when you think of all the, the trolls, this would be such a great, great result for the pair of them. There's just absolutely nowhere. His pace has dropped off a cliff. He's doing and struggling to do 32s for fun. It's been another very humbling afternoon so far for Maverick Vinales. Putting a look up the inside of Jack Miller into turn four, which has proven so costly for Fabio Quattararo today. That's gapped Miller behind him. Is Miller just starting to find it? Not a lot. His stone worst podium finish in MotoGP. Well, I'll tell you what, if he manages to get past Alex Rins, there'll be some... Yeah, Tavulia will be rocking, I think it's fair to say. So then... There is Rins, there is fastest rider actually was Juan Mir, number 36, yeah. 30 behind Jack Miller. Yeah, that lap time mullered Miller because he was 1.4 seconds, oh, 13 laps to go. Look how quickly Rins and Magna have dispensed with, I mean, just nobody can keep any consistency in mode 133, 251, so there's nothing wrong with his rhythm at the moment. Laughing Rossi, but look who's closing on Rins. It's going to get worse as well in a minute, fifth and sixth. Rossi ahead of them here. Out of the seat. Bit eager there yeah. on the power, wasn't he? Steady on. It's down to half a second, so Rins again, much the quicker man. But 
upset things. And Mir has got through. Mir's gone through on Alex Rins there in fourth on the Suzuki. And then the Ducati in MotoGP, which arguably should have come in Jerez. He was brilliant there. Really, thus far. Brilliant. But what did work over these last rear Michelin? Will that last the distance and to the and yeah. now they're on him he's really struggling i think at the moment not strong rhythm it's just that those two behind him are that little bit quicker not a lot in it hey on the exit of turn six no problem but these are points is he gonna have a look up the inside into turn eight is he gonna outbreak rossi not this time Naya as well quattro this is where rin seems to be able to make up pronax to kathy rider is he gonna do two in one Brave in the extreme by Bagnara. Up the internet. Nah. Oh, in Mizano. Right. Second crash of the day. Turn my ticker fluttering there, mate. <laughs> Sorry. Blimey. <laughs> Team, because on one side, the flip side of that coin, will be unbridled joy for Franco Morbidelli. Now, here comes Bagnara. Inside of Valentino Rossi, his boss as well. Out the move. <laughs> Into turn two there. He wants to make it sting on this group quite rapidly. And this will be gets the job done. Rins has been told to switch to mapping three. Tino Rossi, the block pass is coming. Oh my goodness Crikey. me, that was close. Oh, I was Wino Rossi in Mazzano. Not when he's on a podium. If you're going to make a move, make it clear. I mean, yeah, if Alex Rins did that, he's going to be calm. This is going to be tough, tough going here for Alex Rins. We saw Bagnard just use the pan the braking zone for turn number eight. He's not going to be close enough to strike this time around. Of it so, so may well be picking off Jack Miller before the end of this race. He's a lot, lot quicker than the Austro. Out of turn 10, we go. Slightly wide on exit, they're almost side by side. And seeing the two Suzukis ganging up behind him. Right then, on to the start. Um, two on the time with his two prodigies, Bagnaia and Morbidelli. We haven't had an all Italian are, are able to stay in these positions. Well, he's, he's coming back towards Pecco Bagnaia. They're throwing everything at this, but Ava. it's so difficult to predict this one. We've got four riders fighting now for two spots on the chain for him that we're not able to witness this show that he's put on because he's a quality helmet yesterday was all to do with the Martino Rossi here. No. Naya, what a resolute race he's ridden so far. Absolutely so. And this man has been in a class of his own, Franco Morbidelli. Yeah, the 25-year-old race, some emotion. It really is. Especially after what happened to him over the last two races in Bruno. And what a response this has been from Franco Morbidelli. Well, it, given championship charge also, 25 points are so precious at this moment. Dovi has gone through on Miller. Good. Dobby gets on through, and that's another vital world championship point now then. Shrims cannot get through on Rossi. Rossi in turn, trying to find a way Can through I on Pekka control, but he's lost a second in the last lap. Yeah, I think he's got it under stage. Oh, Rins gone through on Rins, sorry Matt. And that could be it. That could be done. Now then, Rossi! Final, uh, sorry, Rins make a mistake in that final sector. Morbidelli is, is here. Yeah, he's going to have a proper yeah, bite to Valentino gonna have a Rossi. Pop here. Mir's going to have a pop. Is he going to be close? I don't think he is. Rossi's been awesome on the brakes into turn number eight. No, Mir in Mazzano. And it's not over yet for the podium places. You have it. They're almost touching. Oh, what, what a move was that? What a move. That is a young, that move. Bravo, Juan Mir. Rossi's now going to throw the kitchen sink at it. Sure. He's wide, though. It's all gone wrong. Mir ran the super tight line. Is there going to be Lakers? It looks like Frankie can relax. He's going to take his first MotoGP. But it's Samba time for Franco Morbidelli, who is finally... We have not got a Yamaha 1-2-3.